Hello everyone. Today let us understand using Ghana in English. What are we Ghana learn in this video? This lecture will help you speak English faster by giving you information and practice with the expression be Ghana. What it means? The expression be Ghana is actually a shortened form of be going to, which is used to indicate future plans in English. Here is the breakdown. I am going to play cricket. I am gonna play cricket. I am gonna play cricket. So using be Ghana correctly. When using be Ghana, make sure you do it correctly. Here are certain guidelines given. Use it in casual conversation and informal speech. It's better to avoid it in very formal situations. And do not use it in writing. For example, I'm gonna talk to my colleague about it. Now, what are the problems with Ghana? The first one is omission and reduction. One of the biggest problems with be Ghana is omitting the be verb in statements. The be verb is part of this expression. So please don't omit it. I gonna meet my teacher at four o'clock is incorrect. I'm gonna meet my teacher at four o'clock. So this is correct. Now, the be verb cannot be omitted particularly in statements, but it can be reduced. For example, full be Ghana, reduced or contracted form. They are gonna have dinner later. They are gonna have dinner later. He is gonna tell me something. He is gonna tell me something. Now, remember, don't forget the be verb. Okay, I'm gonna say it right. For negatives, insert not between be and gonna. Okay, I'm not gonna forget, I promise. I'm not gonna make that mistake again. So using be gonna in questions. The previous examples applies to statements. But questions can have different usages. Here's where it gets a little complicated. We sometimes skip the be verb in WH questions. Where are they gonna study? Where are they gonna study? How are you gonna pay? How are you gonna pay? What are you gonna do tonight? What are you gonna do tonight? When you look at the last example, for, uh, uh, for example, to speak faster, we often reduce other words in questions as well. Now, when you look at the next uh, slide, this only applies to the verb R A R E. Do not skip is or am. For example, when is he going to get here? When is he gonna get here? The next one, when he gonna get here is an incorrect statement. Right? Now, in very informal speech, people sometimes skip the be verb in yes or no questions as well. This is very informal usage. Are you gonna play cricket? You gonna play cricket? Are they gonna be there? They gonna be there. Now the other mistake with the be gonna is adding an extra to. The word to in the expression is reduced to a. 
for example i am going to see my friends i am gonna see my friends do not put to back in i am gonna to see my friends is incorrect we are gonna hang out is correct it's gonna be fun i have given here a couple of statements to indicate whether the following are correct or incorrect in spoken english i want you to work on it read the statements pause the video until you understand it then try to find out what are the statements are correct and what are incorrect statements you can check your answers sita yes gana to eat lunch at bulas is incorrect yes harshita gana speak at the conference is correct okay manish gana get a new bike tomorrow is incorrect manish is gana get a new bike tomorrow where is gaurav gana meet you tonight we are gana buy a new house next week is okay they gana be here on time is also correct it's a very informal tone suchitra is gana to play in the orchestra is incorrect who is gana come to the party is a correct statement so likewise you can even talk to your friends about the future plans by using be gana in your statements you can make your own conversations or you can even with the help of some of the pictures which can create a conversations you can try talking with your friends using be gana hope that was useful if you like the lecture remember to click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe thank you